to what you guys just witnessed on um, my before and after pictures. I want to introduce myself properly. My name is Javon and I am 38 years old. Just turned 38 this year, um, last month. Um, to explain what you guys just saw, it was me. Um, I was a part of the ABC community for uh, since I want to say ooh, um, 16, 17, all the way up until I was 37 years old. Well, 36 and a half years old. Um, I got saved. I had an um, encounter with the Most High God, what the world calls him, but I call him Yah. But just so y'all can know who I'm talking about, I got delivered from homosexuality um, that I found out maybe a few months ago that entered in a spirit of homosexuality entered in on me as a child. You might hear a lot of people from the ABC community say that they feel like, you know, they were born homosexual, same sex attraction. And that's because a lot of things happened to us as a child. Mine was playing the role of a, of a male um, with another younger child and doing things that you know we had no business doing you no know? and that spirit came in on me so I thought I was born that way but as I got older I was confused why did I feel wrong about who I was but at the same time why do I feel that way and so a lot of us are struggling with homosexuality same-sex attraction because maybe we got molested maybe um, you know we were doing things like you know, touchy feely on um, things that we weren't doing, supposed to be doing by playing Barbie's house, or you know, someone um, harming us, you know, physically, and that spirit can come in on us, you know. So that's how minds came in. That should give you a small, you know, little test, I'm only, um, of how I became that way. Um, I always felt lonely. I was a people pleaser. I drank a lot. Um, I smoked cigarettes and marijuana. Um, I was taking testosterone every week, shooting myself up with this drug, you know, that had me, my hormones everywhere. I was, I, I was quick to anger. Um, I never felt, you know, nothing I did ever, you know, satisfied me. You know, that, that emptiness, that loneliness that I always had. I was always, you know, trying to chase it, you know, find happiness. And I thought by giving others, you know, giving others things, which I always had a given heart, but sometimes I did it more so to please people. I would buy people things, and I, some of these people I would do for, they would, they would wrong me, they would talk bad about me, and I always end up broke. You know, I would buy all the, the alcohol, I would, you know, um, supply the needs to, to you know, to, to have a good time, what I thought was a good time, you know, by going out the majority of the time with most of my friends, you know, I was spending all my money. Sometimes I was spending my rent money. Sometimes I was spending my, you know, um, food money, you know, bill money, but I wasn't thinking like, you know, I was just whatever I could get, you know, whatever that t temporarily feeling was of me, you know, doing this and doing that, a people, people pleasing. Um, I did that as well. Um, I was just a lost person, you know, and there's a lot of us out here that is lost. And so I'm here to share my testimony. This is just a small sum. I'm going to be making more videos, creating live content, you know, giving advice and encouraging others, you know, who are lost and, you know, who are confused about them sex themselves as far as it comes to sexuality or just want to know who they are on purpose. I mean, as a per person, we all do have a purpose, but our purpose is not what, what we want to do. It's for what God wants us to do. You know, he says to, um, you know, follow him in all his ways. And, you know, he will direct our paths. And he will also give us the desires of our heart. But first we must do is, 
is follow him and you know and follow his commandments and be obedient unto him and then he would add all those things unto us you know but um yeah so i became that person that person in the beginning of the pictures you guys seen that person was lost hurt sad broken um chasing um after happiness and a lot of things that would not fulfill that void that emptiness and when i got saved a year and some months ago i had encounters with the most high um he's delivered me from homosexuality alcohol uh smoking um i don't have those desires and he gives me peace sorry about the noise he gives me peace that is um unexplainable you have to literally go through it yourself you know, to, to understand his peace, and his love, and his joy. Um, this this walk, I would say, is not easy, but being filled with his Holy Spirit definitely helps you, gets you through the, the days. You're going to be facing trials and tribulations. You know, it's, it's about enduring and trusting in him and knowing that he will get you through. Um, a lot of things that, uh, uh, not a lot, but... All those things that I used to, you know, struggle with, um, lust, um, and, and emptiness, loneliness, um, all those things that I struggle with, alcohol, smoking, all that stuff he freed me from. And there is nothing on this earth that is more fulfilling than his love and his peace. And, you know, um. I'll be back with y'all, you know, I'm going to do a couple of lives, maybe more than a couple, I'm just warming up, you know, this is my, I just wanted to explain what you guys just seen, the first picture I was, all those things that, you know, unhappy, um, lost, depressed, and the, the second one is, you see me being liberated, I'm filled with his Ruach, his Holy Spirit, um, I have joy, I have peace, I have happiness, you know, um, like I said, uh, it's not easy to be on this walk, but with him, anything is possible. So he gets me through you know, my tough times, my trials and tribulations, I have stated. But if anybody that is feeling all those things that I said that I used to struggle with, all those strongholds that I used to have and, and confusing of who they are as a person and, and who they are as a, who they're attracted to, because God is not the author of confusion. The devil is. So as you see now, how many, how was a lot of kids being attacked, you know, and they're pushing the agenda of the ABC community on kids, which has been like that for a while. Like I said, when I thought I was born that way because what I, what I did, you know, and I allowed that spirit to come in on me as a child. And it's a lot, it goes deep, but that's just to sum it up. But if anybody's going through something, you know, and who, false identity or you know drugs or alcohol or just need a word of encouragement who needs help you know um i'm a stepping stone you know i'm 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 working for the most high you know planting seeds you know and then he do the rest um i pray that you all be encouraged by this video and remember um it's never too late as long as there's breath in your body you can always change but you cannot do it alone. We cannot do it alone. We need God himself to come in. We have to invite him, submit ourselves to him, and he will. Pray that you all be blessed.